Hi, I have a couple of ideas for Lisa. First of all, Lisa, I, I want you to take a look at the mouth. And this goes for everybody, too. Generally, the edge that's most prominent is the separation between the lips. And the upper and lower edges of the top and bottom of the mouth are far more soft, especially the outside corners of the bottom lip. Now, uh, another idea is I want to look at the nose. Generally, with most noses, we see something that looks a little bit like a ball at the tip of the nose. You could almost imagine a marble sitting there within the tip of the nose. Some people have a more angular nose, I will grant you. But you could start with a circle in most cases and then draw flattened ellipses for the nostrils just to the side of the circle and then uh, something like parentheses outside of those. Now another idea is the shape of the eye, which is going to be more like an almond, right? I want to make sure that you're reading um, the assigned chapters from our texts and also the online lectures, and I want you to practice um, every chance you get. Now a couple thoughts for Joey and Joey and are your eyes halfway down the head, right? This is a hard thing to want to do, but you've got to push yourself. And um, I, I like you to take a look at the eyes. Generally, there's about space enough for one more eye between the two. And that will help you both the space them the proper distance apart and make them a suitable width. Nice job on the nose here and also the mouth. I like to encourage you to use um, some indication for shoulders for future.